Who is responsible for this driveling nonsense? As ordered, mein Führer, the Eastern Front strategy to knock England out of the wall. What has England to do with this? Filthy rubbish! General withdrawal in the East to real positions. The front straightened and shortened. New front line chosen with an eye to easy quartering and simplified supply problems. Ah, yes, you gentlemen of the officer corps with your forms before your names, who never dusted your polished boots in a trench, the kind of trench I served in for four years, Always looking for an easy war, for simple war, while you snicker behind my back at the Bohemian Corporal, who knows? From bitter experience, from lying gassed in a field hospital, that war is hard! A soft, cowardly wretches beneath contempt! I repeat my request to be permitted to resign. Yes, now! Now that you have ruined my Eastern campaign, I designed it with crystal clarity. It was bound to lead to victory if you had done as you were told and driven for the Caucasus oil. But no, you knew better. You and your generals had to march on Moscow. You wanted your prestige successes. Fool! Weak! Think of Pope! There will be no withdrawal on the Eastern Front. Not one inch. Every German soldier will hold or die where he stands. My Wehrmacht will not turn its back on the Russians and fall to pieces like Napoleon's Grand Army. I beg you. Let me resign. Resign! You are dismissed! Herr von Brachitz! From your post, from my armed forces, from all further service to the fatherland that you tried to betray with this treasonous filth! remain. This little affair of operational command is something anyone can do. The task of the commander-in-chief is to educate the army in national socialism. I know of no general who can do it as I want it done. Therefore, I shall take over command of the army myself. Yes, mein Führer. I shall require a chief of staff, of course. If you wish to resign, I will permit it. If you want to remain at your post, you may. For now, that is all.
winter battle in Russia is ending. My order to stand or die saved the Wehrmacht. My Führer, it was a great military decision. Writes Marshal Hermann Goering, commander of the Luftwaffe, the powerful German Air Force, one of Hitler's oldest and most trusted Nazi associates. We will annihilate the Bolshevik Empire. If not for your iron will, my Lieutenant Führer, General Alfred Jodl, chief of operations of the OKW, Hitler's supreme headquarters command. Be echoing through the streets of Germany. Exactly, my Führer. The greatest Field Marshal Wilhelm Keitel commander-in-chief of the OKW. To give such an order to his grand army. And when he allowed the retreat, the Russians pursued him all the way to Paris. My life's aim has not changed since I wrote it down in prison 20 years ago in Mein Kampf. I will seize the living space in Russia that we won in 1917 and was swindled out of by the Versailles Treaty. Russia is the heart of the world land masses. He who dominates Russia dominates the world. With the fall of Singapore, the British Empire is in receivership. The world imperial system is broken up. America is by our devastating you vote campaign and by the victorious march of Japan. All the land masses of the earth, 150 million square kilometers, are is a moment that comes once in a thousand years. Now is the time to seize the initiative, throw in all our forces, and in a huge new offensive, wipe out the entire defense potential remaining to the Soviet Union. This final campaign will be called Case Blue. The German people trust me. My soldiers trust me. Because I am one of them, a common foot soldier. Any general that does not have faith in me, I will dismiss, dishonor, and crush. Then I will find others to fight and win. with the same proposals, withdraw! General von Paulus is there at Stalingrad, my Führer. He recommends withdrawal just for regrouping in the Mamai of Kagan Hills area because of the ravines. All you generals are alike. Withdraw, regroup, turn tail, retreat. You affect my soldiers with your spinelessness. That's the reason I haven't yet occupied all of Stalingrad. My Führer, you would hold all Stalingrad now if back in July you had not halted the Sixth Army's drive and diverted the Fourth Panthers to Rostov needlessly. Two months ago, Stalin was ours for the taking. That one move crippled your whole case blue campaign. General Holder, how dare 
Are you use such language to me? Because it is the truth. Brave men and officers are falling in the thousands because commanders at the front cannot make sensible decisions. You've tied their hands. The front? What did you do in the First World War? Do you presume to tell me how men feel and think at the front? What do you know about what goes on at the front? I know that you cannot command the front from 600 miles away. That is unfair to the truth. Yet, I relieve list, and the Caucasus troops are advancing again. And why? Because I have the will to advance. Advancing, yes, to positions where they will be trapped in another week when the first snow falls. They should be withdrawing from the Caucasus. The objectives are unrealistic. The oil fields are beyond their reach. I you have overstrained the troops, and you have overstretched the supply line. Take the Caucasus oil fields just as I am taking Stalingrad. Occupying Stalingrad never was a proper objective of Case Blue. You're destroying your own campaign. You're obsessed! You're grinding up our finest mobile divisions in a house-to-house -house rat war for no purpose! The Russians are massing great forces to attack those worthless Italians and Romanians guarding your flank, and you... You just ignore the intelligence! Intelligence? If I had listened to intelligence, I would not have conquered Czechoslovakia! And Poland, and France, the intelligence is what cowards like you hide behind. My intuition tells me the Soviet Union is finished. That I am this close to winning the war, and you. There, tell me I risk losing it! Führer, you lost it when you declared war against America. Harder! You and I are suffering from nerves. Half my nervous exhaustion is due to you. It's not worth going on. The National Socialist will need it to win this war. I cannot expect that from an officer of the old school like you. I shall act as my own chief of staff until, in due course, I appoint a replacement. America! <laughs> America is one big bluff! <laughs> <laughs> In all German history, our position has never been so powerful. Our new order rules all of Europe. 
my armies threaten the Volga, the Caucasus, and despite momentary setbacks, the Nile and beyond. My U-boats have sunk almost eight million tons this year. The Atlantic is becoming impassable to the enemy. As for Stalingrad, Monsieur, we have an urgent submarine report. Large sections of those Gibraltar convoys have turned south. French North Africa, if it isn't a deception. One of our U-boats? No, Monsieur. Italian. Italian intelligence. As about as reliable as Italian troops. Still, Keitel is to telephone French Army headquarters in Vichy. Report this intelligence and tell them I demand a full war alert of all Admiral Darlan's land and sea forces in North Africa. To be fair, my dear. Meanwhile, we will proceed on to Munich until this little nonsense takes clearer shape. French North Africa knock Italy out of the war. Mm. The weak opponent. Not a bad move. If that's it. Roosevelt! Mm. Yeah. 7.46 p.m. Adolf Hitler addresses the party faithful on the 19th anniversary of his famous Deer Hall Putsch. Und wenn jemand fragt, wenn sie Stalingrad erobert haben, warum wird denn noch in den Straßen gekämpft? Antworte ich, das ist ein zweites Verdammnis Lund. Es ist mir wohl egal, ob es ein, zwei oder drei Monate dauert, bis die letzten Rackernester ausgeräumt sind. Da wir in Stalingrad tausend Jahre bleiben werden. Mein Führer, Sieg! 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 I regret to report absolute betrayal. British and Americans are waiting ashore, and Dallon has ordered ceasefire throughout French North Africa. Dallon! Our man! How could he suddenly turn so rotten? The treacherous swine! I understand that most forces there are obeying him, laying down their arms. Vichy apparently is impotent. Have Ribbentrop notified Mussolini and Laval. They have to come to Munich immediately. We confer tomorrow morning on the future of France. Yes, mein Führer. Keitel! Mein Führer! Prepare emergency plans for landing in Tunisia in force within 48 hours. The cowardly French won't fight Roosevelt's rabble of green drafties. We will! Zubi fail, mein Führer! Also, alert the necessary units for the execution of plan and top. Highest urgency! We occupy the rest of France! Yes, mein Führer! Best Panzers! I want my best Panzers thrown into Tunisia! The Deutschland, the Adolf Hitler, Leibstandarte. Yes, and the Hermann boarding Panzers too. That cowardly, bloodthirsty lunatic Roosevelt and his drunken lapdog Churchill have stepped into the quicksand. North Africa will be their political graveyard. And with Rommel taking overall command, he'll push Roosevelt's nigger troops back into the sea. 
And with those extra forces all, all across, we'll push him right back, this time to the Nile. Mein Führer, with you the world's greatest military genius leading us, this is bound to be a very positive development. Oh, yes. No turning point. Steady, Seitzler, you're new to the job. We've been through tougher ones than this on the Eastern Front. You'll prepare a full situation report tomorrow. Now, let us get some much needed rest. My Führer, this is extremely urgent. I must give General Paulus freedom of action now at once to fight his way out of Stalingrad to the west. Leave the Volga, you mean? Only if Paulus decides it is necessary, mein Führer, to save the Sixth Army. At least uh, let him plan a breakout. Where? The German soldier sets his foot. There he remains. I'm not leaving the Volga. Tell that to Paulus. Führer, it grieves me, but I must tell you this. The 6th Army is almost encircled. 300,000 men, your most powerful mobile force, trapped. Nonsense! What is this nonsense? It's true, my Führer. The Russians have torn open the Romanian front on the north and are closing with a pincer attack. You yourself assured me by telephone, not six hours ago, Zeisler, that the 48th Corps was closing that breach in the north. Mein Führer, I, I said they were counter-attacking. They, they, they fought hard, uh, very hard, but they were cut off and surrounded. Uh, overwhelming superior numbers. Well, a whole Panzer Corps cut off by the Russians? Who commands that corps? General Ferdinand Heim, a very capable officer. You will order General Heim to report here to Rustenburg immediately. He will be court-martialed upon arrival and executed by firing squad. Oh, my dear, surely. Uh, an inquiry into the circumstances first. Gary will head the court-martial. He will, uh, he'll choose his own court. To be fair, my viewer. Situation conference at ten hundred hours. Yes. Tomorrow, morning. I don't have to leave the Volga. My Führer, I'd like to point out another advantage of this plan. Uh, there, there speaks the conqueror of Sevastopol. Army Group Dunn will drive up from the southwest with powerful fresh forces to relieve Paulus. Meantime, 6th Army should form a hedgehog at Stalingrad. Field Marshal Erich von Manstein. Mastermind of the conquest of France. Germany's most brilliant and successful professional officer. It may be possible. But of course, all this absolutely depends on keeping the 6th Army supplied by air until my relief columns break through four to six weeks. No problem. Right, Marshal, with all respect. An airlift of 500 tons a day in this weather? And with the Luftwaffe already tied up in supplying Tunisia? Mein Führer, supply by air to Paula's army is a matter of life and death. Mein Führer, I will supply the 6th Army at Stalingrad. Then, it is all decided. The 6th Army will hedgehog where it stands. General Paulus' command will henceforth be known as Fortress Stalingrad. The relief of Fortress Stalingrad will be the mission of Army Group Don under Feldmarschall von Manstein. I will supply the necessary fresh, powerful forces. You will send.
explain this to General Paulus, Führer to Paulus. You are promoted to Feld Marshal. My congratulations. List of 117 of your officers, also promoted one grade, is as follows. Chief of Staff, Major General Schmidt. He didn't commit suicide! He didn't have the decency! He surrendered! Most surprising. No sense of honor, my Führer. They've got a German Feld Marshal! No other Feld Marshal has ever been captured alive! What treachery! What disgraceful behavior! Dirty! Ah, cowardly! Swine! How did he not have the decency to kill himself? the most that I promoted him to Feld Marshal. Now, why does he think I did that? And with both outcomes, and the Axis defeat in North Africa, the tide of war shifts for all the world to witness. But for Adolf Hitler, it marks the end of his dream of world conquest. After Stalingrad, he will only be fighting to save his neck. My men. I keep thinking about them. They're lucky. The Stalingrad heroes are prisoners of the Bolsheviks. Your men will get fat on American prison rations. Their sacrifice was not in vain, Rommel. They raped Roosevelt's timetable for invasion fortress Europe, held them up, while Manstein got my armies out of the Caucasus? Do you know what the soldiers are calling Case Blue Campaign now? The Caucasus run through. You know that, Mephiel. Rommel, nothing in Germany escapes me. Never forget that. As fit as a boy. I want you as my military advisor attached to headquarters. Oh, my Führer, give me a field command. No, I need a plain speaking man, a soldier by my side. Then, uh, may I speak plainly now? That is what I want. Mein Führer, end the war. Make peace. We cannot go on fighting the whole world. There's not much chance left of winning this war. I know that. I would make peace tomorrow. But nobody will make peace with me. So, what can I do? But fight to the end. Permit me to speak against that. If we took certain crucial first steps, if certain activities, 
secret, reprehensible, un-German activities were stopped at once, disavowed, even punished. What activities are you referring to? Certain activities in Poland, of the SS, of Himmler. Himmler? What concern is he of yours? Himmler's job is internal security. Yours is fighting a war. Mein Führer, we have enough strength to force a terrible peace. You might even be able to strike a deal with the West, but it's impossible. But it's impossible unless we put an end to... to things. Common humanity won't tolerate... No! No, I do not permit you to continue! The Jews are our implacable eternal enemies! Churchill and Roosevelt are nothing but Jewish puppets! The Jewish Bolsheviks in the East and the Jew plutocrats in the West have ganged up to destroy us! Now, if the German people are incapable of winning this war, then let them rot! The best are dead. Anyway, I will fight for every street, for every house. Nothing shall be left. If a great race dies, then it has to die heroically. The immediate question is, where will the Allies land next, and when? Well, Sicily, end of June, early July, then Italy. Review the staff studies for Italy and give me an urgent appraisal. Sicily. Operation Citadel under Manstein and von Kluger. My coming attack in the East. Review it and meet me later tonight. Attack in the East after Stalingrad. Especially after Stalingrad. They are too cocky now to make a decent separate peace. So I must tear a great Hole in their front, yes. One good bloody nose, and Stalin and I will be doing business again. Attack. Attack. Always attack. The blacker things look. Attack. 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 Operation Citadel begins in late June. Treachery! It's all treachery! I told Mussolini, I warned him, where are your troops, your bodyguards? Nothing! He had nothing! The question is, will the Italians keep fighting? Never! Now that swine, the Dolio, has taken power, He's our worst enemy. He's already in touch with the British. I know it. I can smell it from here. I want two plans drawn up tonight. First, find and rescue Mussolini. Two, prepare to take Rome. I'll clean out that scum, that rabble, that royal family. I'll make them crawl. I'll put the Duce back in power in a week. There is the question of the Vatican, mein Führer. The whole corps of diplomats is in there. Oh, I'll go into the Vatican and pull out that whole gang, huh? Won't that be a hole? Shoot those diplomats, swine, hiding in there. Later we can say it was all a mistake of the war. <laughs> Clean out that whole pass of priests. What do I care? The Vatican, an abscess of swindling Jew religion. Jesus was not a Jew! He was the bastard son of a Roman soldier! And Paul, oh, the greatest Jew swindler of all time! Mein Führer, we have 70,000 troops in Sicily. 
They must get back quickly to the mainland. At once? Absolutely. Seltzler, Jodl, see to it. Blow up the equipment. Just bring back the troops. Sicily is tough for. To the field of you. Yeah. I'll have to fight the Allies on the mainland. We'll need every last man. Hmm. And Robert, take charge up north. Stand by to seize the Alpine passes and roll in every available division to disarm the Italians at the first false move. Absolutely, Manfuro. They're probably plotting to change sides right now. Fresh of it! They're all traitors except the Duce. I want him rescued no matter what. That way, I'll preserve the Axis and the Pact of Steel. Two of him, of you. It will be more than two months before German commandos finally locate and rescue Mussolini. And on September 23, 1943, the deposed dictator, under the Fuhrer's orders, will proclaim the new Italian Social Republic in the North. But Il Duce will prove to be nothing more than a puppet and his new government only a figment of imagination, propped up by Adolf Hitler's waning military might. As Operation Overlord continues to build momentum, Adolf Hitler lays plans to counter the coming assault on his impregnable Atlantic Wall. line to the north. He who holds Rome in the eyes of the world holds Italy. I will never give up Rome. Never! Absolutely right, Manfuhr. The Channel Invasion map. Yeah. They will land here. Normandy? It is three times as far over the water as the Pas de Calais. That is why it will only be a diversionary force. Their main attack will come here, Pas de Calais, the short straight route across the channel, and then into the Ruhr. Of course, we will keep an eye on Normandy, but this is where we will squash them. Piles of dead Americans stinking up the French coast. <laughs> that can be the finisher to that crazy cripple Roosevelt. You lose the election and, with luck, end up in jail somewhere. Or perhaps some patriot will shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, you agree, mein Führer, that the place to oppose the invasion is right at the beaches? Rundstedt disagrees. It's a question of how we deploy the panzers. I intend to hold them on a strong defense line inland until the invasion main body is ashore. But then, bad a lot and slaughter them. But once they are ashore, Rundstedt, with their total air superiority... Just a minute! My Luftwaffe will rise to do battle. There's merit in both your views. It all depends on the situation at the time. Therefore, I shall take operational control of the Panzers. Well, I have very urgent business to attend to in Cherbourg. How are the divisions in Hungary? Two divisions are leaving tonight for Italy. Good. With those two, and two or more from the home front, two or more blocking divisions from the home front, we will stop their entry into Rome forever. Let the Anglo-Saxons bleed themselves to death trying to break through. What about the home army report? Stauffenberg. Never mind, I have no time now. 
have guests for lunch. Read the report and give me a summary after my nap. Of preparation, everything is under supreme control. And my secret weapons are already on the launching sites. So you unspeakable terror will soon rain down on England. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> well, here we are, eh? Now we've got them where we can hit them. They've come up against a curtain of steel and fire. We're squashing them into the ground. Splendid, mein Führer. Splendid. Mein Führer, we have been in touch with von Rundstedt. And mein Führer, Rundstedt is requesting release of the Normandy panzers to his operational control. What for? It's all a fake, this landing. We're ready for them. When they make their main attack against the Pas de Calais, then my panzers will get to work and slaughter them. Mein Führer. You astound the world with your Napoleonic flair. What about a little lunch? Mm -hmm. It is only I who am confined to vegetables. <laughs> Contra attacks were carried out successfully in Normandy. Panzer divisions east of Rhin were able to break through the enemy bridgehead and they suffered heavy casualties. And the British landing force also has been thrown back in the Caen area with massive losses. And is that all? Uh, yes, Führer, from the dispatches. Although I see General Rohn is back with us now after his trip to the front. Well, so much for Normandy. What's happening in the East? During the past 24 hours, a new offensive was launched by the enemy in the Karelian Straits. Well, the Karelian Straits, Führer. The railway station, Perkiarvi, was badly hit. Several cities, Seivöste, Uzi, Kirko, and Kanieljärvi, had to be abandoned. Sie und der Kampf- und Arbeitskräfte im lettischen Raum hat General Dankers folgenden Aufruf verlassen. Mein Führer. Oberst Graf Stauffenberg has a very fine report to make on the home army divisions for East Prussia. Zurück zum Aufruf von General Dankers, mein Führer, damit Sie sehen, dass unsere Verbündeten sich auf das deutsche Heer verlassen können. Volksgenossen und Volksgenossinnen, der Aufruf von General Jeckel am 16. Juli ist ein überzeugender Beweis, dass in diesem Augenblick der Gefahr das lettische Volk nicht allein dasteht, dass uns die heldenhafte deutsche Wehrmacht schützt und bis zum letzten verteidigen wird. Die deutsche Wehrmacht, die uns schon vor drei Jahren vom Joch der Bolschewisten befreit hat. Der Führer Großdeutschlands hat befohlen, den baltischen Raum zu befestigen und dazu alle Kräfte zu mobilisieren. Daher werden schon in den nächsten Tagen alle waffenfähigen Männer zum Schutz und zur Sicherung der Grenzen unseres Landes einberufen. Viele Frauen und Männer werden zur Errichtung eines Schutzwalles in unser Land eingesetzt werden. Diese totale Mobilmachung unseres Volkes wird unser ganzes Leben in weitem Maße berühren. In Behörden, Betrieben, überall werden die Arbeiten auf das Mindestmaß herabgesetzt werden, um die Kräfte zum Schutz des Vaterlandes freizumachen. Nordöstlich des Ladoga-Sees gab es hauptsächlich beiderseitige Spätdrucktätigkeit. Östlich von Uxu-Jarvi wurden die mit schweren Waffen unterstützten feindlichen Angriffe abgewehrt 
oder feindliche Abteilungen schon in der Bereitstellung zersprengt. Im Gelände zwischen Loimol Jarvi und Sujo Jarvi dauerten die wechselvollen Kämpfe an. Eine Verstärkung unserer Truppe in diesen Regionen ist zurzeit nicht nötig. Aber westlich von der Dwina. Seine Vorhut ist schon bis südöstlich von Dunaburg vorgedrungen. Hier. Wenn wir uns beim Papus sehen, nicht sofort zurückziehen, ist eine Katastrophe nicht zu vermeiden. The Antichrist is dead. as soon as I could. Morel? Nothing serious, Herr Reichsmarschall, but you must speak up. His ears have been slightly injured. What happened? A bomb. A criminal conspiracy guarding. They're all hang like butchered cattle. Who did it? That crippled colonel. With a briefcase bomb. And escaped to the airfield. Stauffenberg? Ah, can you believe it? The alarm is out for him. We'll get him. We'll get them all. Now I've got them where I want them. Now I can act. But such a thing at, at our own headquarters. It is a turn of fate. After this miracle of my survival, it is inconceivable that our cause should meet with misfortune. Hmm. It will rally the people to me like nothing else. And it frees my hands. Prepare a list, Göring, of those who will die. <laughs> How many more did you say there were? Seven, mein Führer. They want this film shown in all army headquarters and every officer's school. Gentlemen, this is what happens to traitors. General Leutnant von Hase. The astounded German High Command calls it the September Miracle. When one side realizes, the other side will never quit. Never! Since the Americans took Paris, they have fallen apart as a fighting force. They think the war is over. The troops expect to go home for Christmas. <laughs> they have no stomach for more casualties. The time to hit them is now. This ruthless offensive must convince our Western enemy to give up all hope of our surrendering. Gentlemen, we face the shakiest coalition of all time. Ultra-capitalist states and ultra-Marxist states. A dying empire, England, and a greedy colony, America, grasping at its inheritance. And Russia, grabbing for the Balkans, the Persian Gulf oil, then all Europe, then all the world. Now, if we deal, this 
unholy alliance of opposites a couple of heavy blows, it will collapse. Tighten your willpower to the last turn of the screw. Smash our dozing Western enemy. We are Germans. Victory and an honorable peace can still be ours. So, attack, attack, attack all the way to Antwerp. Then, I pledge, we will take good care of the Russians. You will feel much better. Memorandum to me. Commencing, the war is lost. I threw it in a drawer. I did not read it beyond the first sentence. This is high treason. Fuhrer, our supply of chrome is exhausted, so I can make no more weapons. Our oil supply is cut off. Our fuel reserves won't last 30 days. This war can turn around any day. Any day. The Anglo Saxon idiots can still await to the Bolshevik menace, despite all, and join us to save civilization from red barbarism. Yes, Monsieur. A last minute miracle can indeed happen, as it did with Frederick the Great. <laughs> yes, yes, it will. Mm -hmm. It is my destiny. All the more reason not to make a scorched earth of our fatherland, Fuhrer. And soon we may become triumphant after all. I do not permit you to question my order, Speer. Fuhrer, I stand by my letter. In Berlin alone, 62% of the housing has been destroyed. In the heart of the city, right above our heads, the destruction is closer to 85%. We have no right at this stage of the war to carry out Demolitions which would further affect the life of our people. My Führer, we must do everything to maintain, even if only in the most primitive manner, the basis for the existence of the nation. If the war is lost, the German people are lost with every inch. Eisenhower advances beyond the Rhine. His troops will find desert, a wasteland. See that it's carried out, Speer. Yes, mein Führer. Run. Ensure that my orders for total destruction are carried out to the letter by the army. To be fair, mein Führer. You will both report to me regularly. If either of you depart from the truth, the slightest, I will know and you'll pay. With your heads. is to relieve the beleaguered capital with divisions, tank brigades, even whole armies that exist only in his fevered imagination. What is going on? We have been trying to reach the Steiner army since yesterday. My patience is not limitless. 
Telephone lines, my Führer, they keep breaking down. If I do not hear from Steiner within 15 minutes, somebody will be shot. Lieutenant General Hans Krebs, Adolf Hitler's latest chief of the general staff. Well? Unfortunately, mein Führer, it has been confirmed. What has? There can be no Steiner attack. Everybody out! 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 Tidal! Bond! Cranks! Jürgen! Stay! to Berchtesgaden. From the Alpine Redoubt, you can direct the final defense of our country. No. Those who wish to go south may do so. I shall remain here in Berlin. And when the time comes, I shall shoot myself. My deception is irrevocable. If we go, if you don't have your leadership staff with you, can you direct the war from here? Goering will take over command down there. Mein Führer. No soldier will fight for the Reichsmarschall. What do you mean? Fight? There's precious little more fighting to be done. I've been surrounded from the onset by nothing but traitors, incompetents and liars. I should have won this war. I did not make a single mistake. Plans were flawless. The army let me down. The party let me down. The German people let me down. You two have lied to me. Spare confessed the demolitions were never carried out. Well, such sabotage of my orders is mutiny. And mutiny as a shot. Mein Führer. I did only what I believed to be right. What I believed to be right for the German people. Yeah, well, I pardoned Albert Speer because of his services to the Reich. And I spare you because, contrary to the nature of your whole damned breed, you have on the whole been a loyal general. I now appoint you operations officer for the 
final defense of the Chancellery. Yes, my Fuhrer. Lord, as a soldier to soldier, I have a last request to make as I give you this grave responsibility for the defense of the citadel. I must, under no circumstances, be captured alive. I know there is not much time left, but should you feel the military situation to be such that we can no longer hold for more than 24 hours, you are to report this to me at once. personal request, which is also an order. I understand, my dear. My life is now in your hands. So, with the end almost upon him, Adolf Hitler begins the final decisions of his life. To prevent a last treachery by the duplicitous Himmler, he will have the cyanide capsules left for him by the Reichsführer tested on his faithful dog, Blondie. Then, shortly after midnight, he formally marries his mistress, Eva Braun. In diesem Falle bitte ich Sie, mit Ja zu antworten. Drei rote Rosen gab sie mir mit ihrer zarten Hand. Wenn hier die Welten, wenn sie Welten landen Later that night, as he retires to his quarters to dictate his last will and testament, Adolf Hitler will state, My wife and I choose to die in order to escape the shame of overthrow or capitulation. Moreover, we do not wish to fall into the hands of an enemy or requires a new spectacle organized by the Jews for the amusement of their hysterical masses. Therefore, it is my wish, our wish, to be burnt immediately on the spot where I have performed the greater part of my daily work at the service of my people. It will be 4 a.m. before the Supreme Warlord finishes his political statement. It rambles from one subject to another. He appoints Admiral Dönitz to succeed him at the head of the new Reich government. He praises the common German soldier and again curses the general staff for having betrayed him. But in the end, he will continue to hammer away at his one guiding obsession. The Jews alone bear the responsibility not only for the millions dead on the battlefield and in the bomb cities, but for their own fate, which they brought on themselves. They started the war. They caused misery and death to millions of Europe's Aryan peoples. Therefore, they had to pay. The 
know my means. Well, far more humane than they deserved. I demand of all Germans, all national socialists, men, women, and To the and last, the he is the fanatical, hate-filled street agitator. He is proud that he has never weakened. And above all, he will conclude. I am joined the leaders of the nation and those under them to uphold the racial laws to their full extent and to oppose mercilessly the universal poison up of all peoples international joy And so, in these last words, Adolf Hitler proudly confirms that although he had many accomplices, it was he himself who brought about the final solution. As previously instructed, I must now report that I am no longer able to guarantee that the battle-worn and exhausted troops who are still defending the Citadella are able to hold on for a further 24 hours. A final assault by a large number of tanks can be anticipated no later than dawn tomorrow morning, the first day you will no doubt appreciate, mein Führer, the significance of this date for a Russian soldier. Hmm. Yes, I know. That is all. Thank you.